Fresno, California's Grizzly is a 400-pound professional arm wrestler who is arguably the strongest competitor in the super heavyweight division. Capable of generating tremendous power with his upper body, he's recently made the transition to slapping in hopes of becoming a dominant champion in both sports. His opponent, the Maniac, is a five-time UFC World Heavyweight Champion with 31 professional MMA wins. He made his debut at Slap Fight 25 in April with a dominant victory over the Heavy Hitters Tournament winner, The Bouncer. He has returned to Slap Fight to continue his quest to become the Super Heavyweight Champion. At a combined weight of nearly 800 pounds, this fight just may go down in history as the heaviest slap fight of all time. Arlington, Texas, it is now time for your Slap Fight Championship Nemesis co-main event. And introducing first, he weighed in at 405 pounds from Fresno, California. This is Grizzly. Once again at 405 pounds from Fresno, California, Grizzly. And introducing his opponent, he weighed in tonight at 399 pounds. From Ellsworth, Maine, he is a former UFC champion, Tim the Maniac C. This matchup is scheduled for 10 rounds. Your official is Kyron Bowen. And as always, our lead official, Kyron Bowen. And what you're seeing here, folks, is 800 pounds of man meat at the barrel tonight. 409 pounds, Grizzly. 398 pounds, Maniac. It's a whole lot of man, and so we've got the legend, Frank the Tank, cornering for the Maniac, and of course we've got Mark Coleman cornering for Grizzly. All right, we just had to shoo a dude off the stage. I guess uh, we'll tell you the ballad of Dave later. i uh, got a great story for you. Dave, if you're listening, I'm taking your footage. All right, here's round one. It's Grizzly checking his placement. And here's your windup. Oh, he staggers Tim, and Tim goes down. Oh, my God. Grizzly has dropped Tim Sylvia. Holy smokes. 
We have a stepping violation, folks. A stepping violation on Grizzly. Checking the replay now. Now this is going to be a warning. Let me tell you something. Tim Sylvia is going to be pissed. Tim Sylvia has fully recovered. I know Tim Sylvia well, and I can tell you that he is now completely angry. Grizzly now knows he has the power to drop Tim. He also knows that he needs to keep his feet placed on the floor. Tim Sylvia turning his cap around as if to say it is time. Tim is sponsored by Slept Athletics. Slept.com, great people over at Slept. We've worked with them many times in the past. Tim Sylvia now with some retribution. Tim's been working with Frank the Tank in an effort to control his stepping violations. We're going to see how that's gone for him. And Tim Sylvia has stepped. We have a violation. Tim Sylvia has completely moved his left foot. It's just going to be a warning, however. One warning for Grizzly, one warning for Tim. We're going into the top of round two. Now, Sylvia was just put down. He stood back up and a little bit of sloppy to the technique there. I think he can pull that together. Tim went through a training camp with Frank the Tank. Uh, he's been working specifically on his technique, and I have seen some footage. He is a scary individual. He's about to take his second slap from Grizzly. Grizzly did not step. Now the line official is going to check the, the replay here. Tim's asking for a replay. We're going to take a look at it here. We have a discrepancy. Give us one moment. Sylvia's telling the officials that those slaps are feeling like clubs. We're taking a look at the replay here. We want to make sure this is definitely a stepping violation before we give the Maniac two slaps. I've just talked to the replay official, and uh, it looks like we've got a stepping violation. We've got a stepping violation. It looks like Grizzly will now sacrifice a turn. What that means is now Sylvia will get his round two and his round three slap in a row. This is devastating to Grizzly, but we just verified with the replay that he did pivot his foot this is heartbreaking for Grizzly. If he can take these two slaps, he does have the opportunity to win. But again, fair play is the name of the game, and we have to officiate these fights properly. And we've got a stepping violation. Sylvia has received, he received a warning. Now this is a penalty. Tim will now lose his third round slap. We will go directly to round four. Now Grizzly will start round four and we'll go right back to our rotation. Sylvia with some slight movements to his feet, the same movements that Grizzly is having, a trouble, having trouble with, pardon. Grizzly with a background in Muay Thai, Tim in MMA. Okay, and we've got another stepping violation on Grizzly. And that means that Grizzly will now lose another turn. The Maniac will now receive his round four and his round five slap in a row. Grizzly has got to keep his feet on the floor. These two gentlemen are violating each other every time, and I can't believe I just said that on the broadcast. All right. 
Okay, again, we've got Maniac with a background in karate and MMA. He's taught for his entire career to pivot his feet when striking. Grizzly in Muay Thai, exactly the same. We've got cameras and officials staring at the feet of the competitors. They cannot get away with pivots here. And the chin tucking is regulated. Here we go, round four. All right, we've got a clean slap by the Maniac. And Grizzly definitely felt that. You can see a handprint emerging on the left side of the face of Grizzly. It looks like a bumper of a 1967 Mustang ran across his face. The Maniac, round five. Grizzly's ready. I don't think they're gonna call that clubbing just because the shoulders were up a little bit high. Uh, yeah, it looks like Grizzly had his shoulders rolled up just a little bit high and that, that strike hit the shoulders first. And there's a little bit of a deliberation here and it looks like they're gonna rule that. Oh. I'd say, folks, there's a lot of energy in the Bob Duncan Center tonight and these fighters are putting it all on the line. There's a lot of, a lot of guys are complaining. They, uh, they, they really don't, they really don't want to make mistakes in front of this crazy crowd. It was an incredible crowd here. And uh, it's really disheartening to see guys uh, having these, these fights with all these penalties and violations. You got to stay on top of them, make sure the right guy is winning. And at this point, I think these guys are basically uh, just a stepping, a stepping competition. I'm literally staring at one of the ballots next to me here, and I can tell you that this is a very close fight. Let's go! Look at the fingerprints, racing stripes on the cheek of Grizzly. My God. One, Round six, here we go. Three, and I'm sorry, but Grizzly almost knocked himself out. And he stepped. He thinks that falling backwards uh, is an indicator that he didn't step. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at the replay again, and I can tell you I watched the feet myself uh, on that one. And Grizzly's definitely having a hard time with that right foot. And yes, uh, the replay shows that was definitely a violation. Round six, round six and seven. The maniac's gonna have two shots again. He's got to keep his boots on the mat. One, two, three, and a clean slap from the maniac. The Maniac is not a dirty player. I can tell you he's probably disgusted that he committed any violations at all, but now he seems to have honed it in. Okay, another clean slap from the Maniac. The Maniac has found himself. He's found his target and he's keeping his feet on the mat. It looks like the Maniac has pulled it together and Grizzly showing us that he is durable and resilient but also with some beautiful racing stripes across the left side of his face. Here we go, round eight. Oh, and he is absolutely slapping the piss out of the Maniac, but we have seen the Maniac take far more damage from far more skilled strikers. At this point, it's just blunt force trauma, and the Maniac is now smiling at his corner man He's going to take his break. A little bit of swelling on the face of the Maniac. Not quite so much on the face of Grizzly. Grizzly, 409 pounds, competes in heavyweight arm wrestling. In fact, uh, I'm connected to Grizzly on social media. I've watched it. He's won several tournaments this month. He has been competing heavily during his camp for the Maniac. And I have to tell you, I've never seen him more in the zone than he is right now. This is the bottom of round eight. Oh my gosh, Tim Sylvia with another solid strike. 
For those of you that know a little bit about striking, you notice that Tim has now decided to keep his feet still. It's giving the, him the ability to turn his strikes over right before they hit the target, and that is a huge, huge benefit for a guy like Tim who has won five world titles in another combat sport. No world titles for Grizzly yet, but he's well on his way in arm wrestling, and tonight he's looking to put a slap fight belt around his tiny waist. Grizzly is so committed in to not stepping that he's allowing his center of gravity to fall backwards, and that's very difficult for us because that risks the life of world champion Mark the Hammer Coleman. Grizzly is a competitor that is seemingly built to be a champion slapper, and then the maniac arrives on the scene, six foot eight, almost 400 pounds. I couldn't think of somebody that would be more suited to being the best super heavyweight slapper in the game. Tonight, Grizzly is pulling off seemingly the impossible. He is in the fight till a 10-round decision with the Maniac. It has been a sloppy fight. It has been an ugly fight. But both of these competitors are still in the fight. Grizzly looks like he's ready to eat Tim Sylvia. Tim Sylvia looks like he's upset and frustrated. Keeping in mind that the knockdown at the beginning of the fight does not count on the judges' scorecards. That makes this a very close fight. Oh my gosh! Another clean shot and Grizzly eats it. Okay, at this point, and we're going into our final round. On the scorecards, Tim is the clear winner because Grizzly has lost three slaps during the competition. But from the audience, you have to understand that Grizzly has climbed a mountain tonight. This is an incredible performance by Grizzly. I know he's frustrated with his penalties. That's going to be the reason he loses if there is not a knockout. But knocking out the maniac is easier said than done. He stays on his feet. He's hiding it, he's recovering. The Maniac is an expert gamer. At this point in the match, he knows that he has won the match, but if you look at his face, he has taken, I don't know, six or seven bombs from a 400 pound professional arm wrestler. What an incredible match we have seen so far. And this is the co-main event of Nemesis. Sylvie's taking every bit of the break here. He's got one last chance to put this thing to bed, and I know that's what he wants. He did tell me that he was going to try to go to decision during this match. He told me last night uh, that he wanted to try to refine his technique, and, and uh, he wasn't going to look for the knockout right away. I would tell you that now he probably is looking for the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Grizzly has taken 10 slaps from one of the hardest hitting men on the planet. Now this is an easy decision because it's, it's very clear we know that Grizzly has lost three turns. Uh, the Maniac is the clear winner, but we're going to go down to our, our host, the Space Cowboy, and let him announce the winner of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest by judge's decision, Tim the Maniac Hey, good work. Stay right here, Tim. Let's do a little interview. Do a little song and dance. We are with your winner, Tim the Maniac Sylvia. Listen, that dude got a that dude's got a neck. You think? Not a neck. He's got a neck and some power. <laughs> Did were you surprised when he rocked you on that first one? Oh fuck yeah, I wasn't ready for it. <laughs>
That's, that's what we love about Tim. Tim doesn't pull any punches. If an F word flies out, it is what it is. But listen, man, that was a heck of a dadgum fight. And I, man, Grizzly's one tough dude. Oh, absolutely. He, he earned a lot of respect for me because uh, this showing right here was a hell of a lot better than his last showing. So uh, he did some things right, definitely. Absolutely. I know this is only your second fight for Slap Fight, but where are you going from here, Tim? We'll see what happens in the next match. See what happens in the next match. Give it up for your winner, Tim, the Maniac, Sylvia.